So I want to do this one a little bit differently because this is actually going to be a bit of a double, it's going to be a double one, actually a triple, but it's actually also going to be a double talk because there's actually one game in here I actually bought the other one from Super Rare Games. Thank you for shopping with us. Look at this. Oh, that is, oh, fancy. My first Super Rare Games bundle. Look at that. Got a gold card. Ooh. So these are the bundle cards. Here's Lone Wolf. Cube 2. And Fair Rune. Now, why did I get the bundle? Pretty simple. Uh, I wanted to get Fair Rune 2. And that game sold out instantly. And I had no other way of getting Fair Rune 2. And I was like, damn, that sucks. I need this because obviously I'm adding it to the Super Rare Games collection. Uh, my Switch game collection and my Super Rare Games collection overall. So... Uh, funny enough, when I was on the Discord, someone actually did point out, why don't you just get the big bundle? And there was 2% of the inventory remaining for the big bundle version, which meant that you'll be getting three games, which means I will have to get rid of this cube too, which means I can probably just sell it on to someone who actually wants it, uh, some of the guys in the Discord or something like that. Um, or I'll give it to one of my mates, actually, because I know he's probably going to look at wanting to play cube too. Um, plus, he also likes you know collecting games as well, so he can have, have another one. I, got him, uh, I bought two copies of Mutant Mods, and I was like, I got one for myself and one for my mate. It's for his birthday, so you know, Cube Two could be one of those to add to that as well. So, Cube Two, I'm gonna leave this for now. See what I want to do with it. Maybe I want to sell it, give it to my mate, see what he wants, um, or just see if anyone in the Discord chat wants to have it. So, Cube Two, I'm not gonna to touch. However, because um, I've got so many, I'm actually gonna do a double bill on this one. So, this is from Super Rare Games. This is the first one, number fourteen, and we've got number fifteen there as well. So, we'll go for Fair Room One, the one that kind of uh, Fair Room, uh, Fair Room Collection. Sorry. And this is the one that kind of caused me, well, not really so much as grief, but the resulted that I then had to then go and um, get the big bundle, which was about £100 off in one go, just under, I think about 93 in total. Which is actually a little bit better, because if I do that, I actually save on shipping, so it is, it is actually beneficial for me to do it. And I know I'm going to be getting them as a triple pack anyway, so it is actually worth it for me to be doing the big bundle ones. Um, and I'm not also I'm also not a member of the Super Rare Games membership. I don't really think it's worth it to be honest. But that's another story. I don't want to get into that now. So the Fair Rune Collection. Um, this game here sold out instantly in Super Rare Games. So I'm not really. I, I I can kind of see why because of the type of game that it is and also who it's from. It's from a uh, Fly High Works and they've got quite a lot of good games out there. So I know a lot of people would be grabbing this even if they don't collect limited print games. And this is definitely one with a more universal appeal. So yeah, it sold out instantly, and the only way I could get it was if I got the big bundle version, and that's what I did. However, it does mean I have to get all of these in one go and do an unboxing in one go. It's uh, a little bit stuck here. The Fairroom Collection. Um, this game looks pretty damn sweet, I'm going to be honest. Um, from what I can tell, I have no idea what the Fairroom series is. I have seen this on 3DS, but I actually overall have no idea what the Fairroom collection is in general. So, as far as I know, it comes with four games, but it looks really neat. Yeah, Fairroom, Fairroom 2, Fairroom Dungeons, Fairroom Blast. So, this is going to be the, probably something I'm going to jump into shortly afterwards. I'm not too sure when. I've got a couple of things I need to go through. All quite short games anyway. Um, like Riviere, for example, and Dan Maku, which I just unboxed from Limited 1 series. As you can tell, the artwork's incredible, though, damn. And again, we'll have a quick look at the manual. Fair rune. Okay, so it's just like... It doesn't seem like really too much to go over, but... It, it, these are, it seems to be... Really, it was like such a highly coveted game that it, like, it was so crazy for it to see it sell out like that. But, yeah, this is... Uh, it's really cool that I finally got this now. And if I do end up enjoying it, then, you know, that's going to be a bit of a bonus for me that I ended up picking up a game I did end up um, eventually like. Kind of like Celeste, actually, funnily enough, which it will be the next game shipped from Winter Run Games. But um, Celeste, I didn't actually play when I bought it, and I recently just went through it um, a couple of days ago, and damn, that game's incredible, so it's cool that I'm going to be getting a physical copy of that. But yeah, that's Super Rare Games Fair Room Collection. Super Rare Games number 14, that is. Really good stuff. Um, going to stick that in the pile of Switch games. Next up, Lone Wolf, Joe Denver Lone Wolf. Now, I watched a video on this, and what I saw wasn't very promising, I'm going to be honest. Um... I also have never heard of Joe Denver or the series, but apparently it's a collection of books. So for me, I'm going to be uh, looking at this from someone who has no idea as to where to start or what to expect. But honestly, from what I can tell in terms of the gameplay, it also comes on a card sleeve, much like uh, Mutant Mods does over there. You can kind of see it sticking out number five. 
So I actually have no idea what the Joe Denver series is. So, but from what I can tell, based on the videos that have gone up, it doesn't look very promising. It looks like a bit of a poor mobile port game, um, at least in terms of combat. However, that said, um, I am expecting it to be have a very good story from what I can tell, because I can see a lot of the people in the comments section were saying, oh, I grew up reading Joe Denver books or the Lone Wolf series, I think it is. Yeah. So for me, this is going to be really great. Um, Again, I've got no frame of reference or where to start with or what, what kind of to expect. But if they're great storybooks and, you know, despite the combat in this game looking a bit jank and the gameplay overall, this might actually be a really good story-based game to get into. And that's what people have kind of been banking on, that regardless of the gameplay, the story will be good. So, yeah, not really too sure what to expect, honestly. Um, quite low-budget uh, 3D-type game. Uh, it looks quite nice, apparently. But again, the story should be solid. But again, I've got I've got no idea. I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, the the trailers didn't look very promising. It did make it. It didn't actually make it look very good. It does look like a pretty poor mobile game that's been ported to Switch. But again, I'm all for a good story. So that aside, if I just want to go from story element, story section to story section, that could actually be a uh, aspect of the game that kind of works in its own favour. So yeah, I don't know what to expect with this. It's probably the only game I can think of from Super Rare Games. I'm like, I've got no idea what I'm looking at right now, and everyone else who knows about. Joe Denver and Lone Wolf uh, will know. So for me, this is going to be quite exciting to see what the whole Joe Denver uh, series is about um, and how that translates to a game as well. But yeah, this is a Joe Denver, uh, number 15 from Super Rare Games. Uh, really good stuff overall. I am quite like the uh, cardboard box that we got here as well. Good stuff on them. Super Rare Games are always putting out quality content. So that's going to slide into this. And I'm going to stick that on my shelf, and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with Cube 2. But yeah, Lone Wolf, Super Rare Games, number 15. Really cool. Loving the box as well, though. Really, really simple kind of uh, cover design there. 